Yo, what up? What up, what up, what up? It is Thursday, the 24th of October, 2013, and I'm your host, Ant-Man. So anyways, I got a article here for my evolution friends. And yes, you're my friends. Even though I might not be your friend, but you're my friend. And let me get something very clear here. I tend to lean on creation. And I'm not saying evolution's wrong. I'm saying most of it is wrong. I'm saying that most of it is make-believe, my friend. A lot of it is following a, in my opinion, a religion with blind faith. You don't have observable evidence. You don't have it. And, and everybody always says that you do. And it's like, you, you cannot just say you have evidence and that you've observed evolution. No one has. It's ridiculous to say that. I mean, that's just stupid. I mean... I mean, who are you even parodying or regurgitating from? I mean, this is like, not even, it's like you get something like put in your head and it's just like, that's what you believe. It's like, I, I call evolution like a, a, it's like a science for, for slobs, man. It's like, if you're not, if you're not really seeking truth, but you want to feel like you want to know something, oh, then go get institutionalized, go get indoctrinated, you know, then, then you can hide behind taxpayer dollar funded eugenists operations you know what i mean it's just eugenicists behind all that you guys even creation because i don't even think that you know the the, the way that creation they say you know happened in seven days or whatever um there was no sun or moon like until like the fourth day so how do you give an account for the days before that it said an evening and a day one day but a day is like a thousand you know, and a thousand's like a day to the Lord, and it's like, it's just, I don't claim to, I don't want to claim to know that I know how much time was in between all of that. Could have been thousands of years, who knows, but we weren't here. There were only animals and stuff here. But um, anyways, I'll just get into this article. Dawkins becomes a creationist. As a product of the public school system, I always assumed that evolution was fact. Majoring in science in college, I began having my doubts about the scientific lo logic of evolution. The first, or <clears throat> excuse me, the first organism that I learned about that was not explainable by evolution was the woodpecker. There is no way that it could have evolved with so many specialized organs. Mm, good point. But there's a lot of things in in nature that you can observe and you can tell that the complexity of it that there's no way that it happened like that on its own, dude. It's just ridiculous to think that. All, all types of creatures have their own individuality and uniqueness, and they're all created by God, and it shows the creativeness of God. It shows how creative He is in His creation. And I don't know, man. I mean, if you could grasp that or not, but it's the truth. Um, it could only be explained by being created with all of its specialized organs at all at, um, all at one time. It still took me about 15 years to come to the conclusion that God created the heavens and the earth in six literal days. Debatable, but I like to believe that more than nothing exploded and then now we have all the things on the periodic table from that doesn't make any sense. And that there are certain planets that don't spin clockwise. And some, and it's just ridiculous to say that nothing exploded and that there's no point to life and that there's, it's just stupid. I don't want to believe that. Even if, even if God had never found me and I, was, and I was lost in the world right now, I wouldn't want to believe that just for my own, you know, individual... My, my opinion from what I've experienced in life I wouldn't want to believe that I'd be like no I don't want to believe that life is pointless and that it all came to be by by chance and I don't think evolutionists understand what natural selection really is natural selection selects data and it arranges it however it wants and sometimes it gets you get these mutations that has nothing to do with evolution that's just a mutation <laughs> it's just you're getting ahead of yourself with your imagination my friend that's all it is Christianity explains the basics of science, biology, chemistry, geology, physics, astronomy. They are all based on an orderly, predictable set of laws. And if life is ruled by these laws, then there has to be one who created those predictable sets of laws. Understanding that the Bible is the most inspired, is the inspired word of God, scientists can more fully understand and interpret data accurately, whether a scientist is an evolutionist or a creationist. They will interpret the data according to their worldview. Both scientists have to have a faith in what they believe. I have... I feel I have a lot, I feel I have a more complete understanding of the sciences by the revealed 
swear to God. After graduating from veterinary school, I practiced small animal medicine, small animal emergency practice, and worked as a patho pathologist in a toxicology research laboratory. After having my first child, I decided to make a career change to become a full-time home educator for our four children. And, and yeah, for you guys out there that say, hey, you, you could teach your, your creationism at home and homeschool. Cool. I'd rather do that. I, I wish I was homeschooled. I'd be a lot smarter than I am. I don't claim to be smart, you guys. It's, it's, you know, it's, I know a lot of you out there think you are smart, and you guys are really prideful about it. You're probably laughing at me because I'm like, I'm not smart, but it's the truth. I have good mentorship. I learn from smart people, and that's the difference. I don't just believe everything I hear either, but I, I go and I look at it for myself, it, like things that have never occurred to me that smart people bring up, and it's just like, hmm, and I ponder it, and yes, I agree with Mrs. Dawkins that this is, you know what I mean, like, it's true, the, the Word of God does reveal to you a very, very deep knowledge, and you know, sure, if you want to learn ed evolution and be institutionalized, go to school, go to public school, that's what it's there for, you know, it's funny that people are always asking, like, Oh, the, should we teach the Bible in school? Should we put up the Ten Commandments? I have a better question. Should there be public school? You know what I mean? It's just, you're asking the wrong questions. These places are not good. But anyways, um, after having my first child, da -da -da -da, they have all graduated now, but I am still teaching high school science to homeschoolers. I enjoy sharing my love of science, revealing God's creation to my students. The, the cool thing about teaching at home is that you don't have the ACLU trying to threaten you with lawsuits for teaching creationism like you do in public schools because see there's an agenda of dumbing you down so they, they cannot allow that to compromise their agenda you know like teaching about God notice that nothing that appears on earth like that has anything to that if, if, if something proves the Bible or something points you in the direction of the Bible they're never going to talk about it not the mainstream media not science not history they will twist everything to get you not to look that way Sadly, it's true. Call me a conspiracy theorist, but unfortunately, there are conspiracies out there, and you should be uh, aware of that. You shouldn't just want to believe everything you hear. That's a yuppie mentality. Oh, I'm going to trust people. It's a false sense of security, man. It's You're leading yourself down a bad path. Well, surprise, this story was not written by Richard Dawkins, but by Karen E. Dawkins, who earned a Bachelor of Science degree as well as a decorate, decorated... Uh, doctorate, excuse me, in uh, veterinary medicine. See why thousands of scientists like Karen are turning away from Darwinian Darwinianism by subscribing to our free Today's Creation Moment email. Each weekday, you'll read about the most fascinating creatures in God's creation, like the horror frog, the stinky, the stinking poison bird, and hundreds more. I'm going to actually, I'm signing up for that email. And if you want to go, it's creationmoments.com. You should sign up for this newsletter. That's interesting. Well, here's the thing, you guys. Darwin was a Christian. Darwin is falsely accused for founding evolution. Evolution was believed by Christians before the, Ref the Reformation and Counter-Reformation, thanks to all of the Catholics that lied to us and that make us worship Satan through, you know, making Jesus an idol and then saying, hey, happy birthday, Jesus, on December 25th. It's a lie, you guys. It's more serious than you think, too, man. I mean, this is like crazy... Crazy talk, it sounds like, but you, dude, the truth is stranger than fiction. I honestly encourage you to keep your mind open and not just, you know, the, the things of the world, the cousins of the world and stuff is just not, you know what I mean? They, they, they might be normal, you might fit in for going along with what everyone does, but it's not worth it. You're living a life of falsehood and every, like it says in the Bible, you know, all the customs of the Gentiles are vain. They are. We might put, we might make a day like December 25th for God and, and, and de dedicate it to Him and stuff, but it doesn't mean that we are actually celebrating Him. We're celebrating idolatry is what we're doing because, you know, I was watching Benny Hinn this morning and I saw something that made me cringe. And I even saw that Benny Hinn was kind of like, it, it, it got to him and I could see why. And it's because he has a stack of prayer requests this big on his desk and they're all pray for financial, you know, pray for my financial situation. How would you like it if somebody would only came to you because you gave them something? That's what Christians nowadays do with Jesus. And I'm not trying to bash on Christians, but I have as much beef with you Christians out there than as I do with the world. Because I don't see you guys 
fully devoting yourself to the to the Lord. I see people only wanting to have a relationship with Jesus because there's people proselytizing false converts out there saying that God wants you to have a good life. Well, you should look at the Fox's Book of Martyrs and tell me if they had a good life according to what the world would would you know say what a good life is. God does want you to have a good life, but don't get it twisted. Seek the man. Jesus Christ is a real person. You can't just treat him like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, God, like, give me something today. No, go to him and talk to him and have some personal intimacy with him, man. Don't just, you know what I mean? Like, don't treat him like he's your idol or your God or whatever, because idolatry, man, is, is exactly what that is. Let, I'm going to pray to Jesus because I want my life to be better. I don't, I don't want to try to bless his name, but I want him to bless me, though. But I want to fit in with the world. And it doesn't, that's not part of God's will. It's not. I, I think he just wants to have real, he wants to have real, real, real time with you. One on one. He doesn't want you to worry about anything else. He wants you to know that one scripture, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all else other things will be added unto you. That's the truth. So, you guys treat God like a real person because he is, man. He's not just, you know what I mean? You're not just, he's not a genie. He's not going to put a Ferrari in your driveway because you prayed for it. And, you know what I mean? He can do that, but will he do it? I don't know if he will, you know what I mean? Because uh, I'm not God, and I don't say, I don't have any say about what he's going to do. But get it right. He's a real person. Treat him like that. How would you like to be treated as a person by other people? You would want people to come talk to you because they like you. They want to know, you know what I mean? They want to build a more, rela uh, they, they want to build a relationship with you. you got to spend time with someone to build a relationship with them. And the more you spend time with somebody, the more that you'll like them, I believe. Even if they believe in evolution. <laughs> but anyways, hope that guys, hope that blessed you guys, you know, question things out there. Just because people, you know, say they have, you know, like, degrees and that you should believe them, doesn't mean you should. I'm sorry. But my letter of recommendation is the church, man. If you, just like it says, just like how Paul says in the New Testament, if you are a Christian and you prove yourself by studying hard and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's 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 the, the, the life of God in somebody that's a letter of recommendation to me. The anointing. I'd rather have an anointed person than a talented person. But the world needs you to have a bunch of pieces of paper with your name on it so that they could say, oh, I could trust him. See, put your trust in God. And that he's going to send somebody anointed to come and, you know, point you in the right direction. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the letters of recommendation of the world aren't all the, are always true. But the Christian letter of recommendation, which is the Spirit of God, is much more accurate and much more reliable. So God bless you guys.